Okay, in this lecture I'm going to show you how to create a couple of simple formulas to do some basic math calculations that will really help you down the road to create spreadsheets that do powerful calculations. So I'm going to just go ahead and clear out what we have here from before. Click delete there. And I'm going to enter in just a few numbers that we can do calculations on. I'm just going to enter the number and then hit the enter key and you'll see it just drops it down to the next line. Let's just do a few here. Okay. So there are a number of ways that you can create formulas in Excel and I'm going to show you a couple of them. One is not necessarily better than the other, but some you'll find to be more convenient or easier for you and others you'll notice just take you more effort. So if we're going to add up this column of numbers, there are a couple of ways we can do it. One of the easiest ways is to use the auto sum button over here. Now if I click on this, you'll notice a couple of things just happened over in our spreadsheet. First, it highlighted all of the numbers that I just enter. Excel assumes that you want to add up all of the numbers that you just entered that are above the cell that you're working with. And in this case, it assumes correctly because that's exactly what we want to do. And then you'll notice it's entered this formula in here. And your formulas always start with an equal sign. And so it says equals sum, and sum is actually a function in Excel that allows you to do a mathematical equation quickly and easily, rather than saying, for instance, 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 1 plus 9. It says, give me back the sum of cell A1, and then semicolon means through cell A5, so A5, which is this one. And then it's enclosed in brackets so we know what the cell range is that it's referring to. Now all I have to do is hit enter and that formula takes action and starts to work. Now you'll notice in the cell here it brings back the actual number, the total of these cells. But if I click on this you'll see up here in the formula bar that it shows the formula or function that we entered into that cell. So the formula sort of works behind the scenes. You won't see it show up right here in the cell. You'll just see the results of the calculation. But you'll see behind the scenes, this is like the Wizard of Oz back here, the man behind the curtain in the formula bar up here. Now you can double click on that and it will show your formula right in the cell. But as soon as you hit enter, that's going to go behind the scenes up in your formula bar and you'll just see your actual results of your formula. So that's a simple addition. Here, I'm going to just actually delete this formula and I'm going to show you a couple of other ways that you could find that equation or create that equation. So you can go up here to where it says formulas and this is a great resource to be able to find any formula that you want. And you click on that and it gives you all these different things. And you'll see there's our auto sum again right there. You can go to recently used which is going to bring up things that we, I've used recently in Excel. There are a bunch of different options here but we're going to go to math and trigonometry. We're just going to scroll down to the S's and there's that same sum formula. And you'll notice when you hover over something, it tells you exactly what it does. So this adds the, the numbers in a range of cells. So for instance, if you hovered over subtotal, it'll tell you what this formula does. It returns a subtotal in a list or database. But we're gonna use our sum formula, so we're gonna click that. It's asking you which numbers, which range of numbers you wanna add, which is A1 through A5. And if that's correct, then we just click OK. Now, if, let's say I only wanted to add the first two. Then I would select A1 and A2, and it would fill those in for me. And then it would give me the total back for just these two. But in this case, right, I want A1 through A5. So I'm gonna select all of those, or you can manually enter them in here like that. Either way. And then it will actually do the calculation right here for you so you can double check to make sure you're doing the right calculation. And then you can click OK. And there it is again. And then finally, I'm going to show you one more way to do this. I'm just going to delete this formula out again. And I'm going to type it in manually. So you just say equals. And that tells you that it's about to start a formula. And you can either select a, f a function from over here. Or you can just keep typing. 
and as I type it's gonna bring up suggestions and I can click on that and then it's gonna pre-populate my parentheses my bracket there and I can either type in the numbers I'm trying to do or I can manually select them so I'm gonna just highlight those hit enter and there we have our total so let's go over here and we're gonna multiply a couple of numbers we're just gonna go 6 times 5 to do that we enter an equal sign and then up here it's going to suggest some functions for us or if we like we can just do the drop down and there is the product right there so I could go use that or you can also search for a function by doing this and see you can just type right in here if we want to multiply these this is gonna help us find one you can just hit multiply and go and see it has recommended functions it's recommending the product function which is to multiply all the numbers given as arguments so we that's exactly what we want to do you can either double click on that or you can click OK and then it's gonna bring back our function argument box the arguments are the cells involved or the numbers involved in the formula so again Excel is smart and it's saying oh you probably want to multiply D1 and D2 which is exactly right so we don't even have to do anything we can just click OK and it returns our answer and again you can see there's our function up in the formula bar equals product of D1 through D2 so now we've added a column of numbers for a total there and we've multiplied a couple of numbers for a total there and those are going to help us a lot down the road when we start building our kitchen remodeling spreadsheet